Let's talk about lips. Everyone forgets to protect their lips from the sun. As you know, you should wear sunscreen from head to toe. This includes your lips too. Today, I'm going to review for you my favorite lip sunscreens that contain SPF in them. So don't forget to protect your lips because they actually contain less melanin and melanin are the skin cells that make up the pigment in your skin. And because they have less melanin in your lips, that's why they're lighter than the rest of your body typically, they're, they are more susceptible to the sun. Also, they, the, the skin on your lips is thinner, so it's very susceptible to the sun and everyone forgets to wear it. I'm guilty of this too, um, but I'm gonna go into why it's important and my favorite recommendations for you today. So it's important to use lip balms with SPF in them, not only because they will protect you from UVB rays, which are the rays that cause sunburns and blisters, and you don't want a sunburn on your lip or blisters. It's really uncomfortable and it's terrible and painful. Trust me, I had one when I was younger and I don't recommend doing it. So always use your lip balms that have SPF in them. Not only that, but you get an additional bonus and that's moisturizing your lips. And who doesn't want moisturized lips? Not only for kissing purposes, but just because it feels nice. You don't want cracked dry lips that are peeling. When using lip balms on your lips that have SPF in them, I recommend applying them every two hours. Just like regular sunscreen, you should be reapplying every two hours minimum. And sometimes if you're licking your lips, which you shouldn't do because that actually leads to dry lips, and I'll talk about why we get dry lips, or if you have dry lips, I'll talk about that in another video coming soon. But try not to lick your lips and, um, you wanna reapply every two hours, especially if you're outside in the water or getting wet or rubbing your lips and with a towel that's gonna to take off the material to reapply. Um, some of the products I'll talk about today actually are water resistant, so they're great if you're outside playing pickleball, tennis, swimming, you're gonna be protected. Another thing I wanna mention is that SPF um, in the sunscreen, it usually lip, a lot of lip balms or lip glosses have SPF 15 and that's really good. And actually one of my recommendations today has SPF 15 in it, but I try to actually opt for the SPF 30 for my lips. And that's because SPF 15 is um, a little bit low and that means it protects you against 93% of the UVB rays. And when you go up to SPF of 30, so you double your SPF, you're actually protected against 97% of UV rays. So I always try to go for the uh, SPF of 30 and above. And that goes for my skin and my body when I'm using um, sprays, sunscreens, and face sunscreens too. Um, but there is one sunscreen I'll talk about today that is SPF um, 15, but I'll talk about why I like it and why I'm recommending it to you today. I also want to mention it's really important to stay hydrated. Um, drinking a lot of water not only keeps your body hydrated, but it also keeps your skin hydrated and will keep your lips hydrated. Now, the reason lip sunscreen is so important, just like regular sunscreen, is I want to protect you against sunburns that can eventually cause sun damage and um, cancer. And yes, you can get cancer on your lips. I've seen it. A lot of people get precancers, which are called actinic keratoses. You can also get basal cells or squamous cells on the lip borders, on the lips, around the lips. It's not fun. It's not a good place to have to do surgery if you have to remove it. So um, also putting sunscreen on your lips also protects your oral health and your mouth and your teeth. So it has all these wonderful benefits. Let's jump into my recommendations now. So here we go. I'm reviewing the five top sunscreen recommendations for your lips that I really recommend. First up is Aquaphor. You might use Aquaphor all year round on your lips, um, and this one actually contains sunscreen in it. So it's lip, lip protectant with sunscreen. It is broad spectrum SPF 30, which is great. It's in that optimal range, so you'll protect your lips against 97% of those UVB rays, which are causing the sunburns and the blisters to your skin. It's fragrance-free and it's paraben-free. Um, and it's great for severely dry or cracked lips. So I'm gonna show you how it goes on today. It's also it comes in this like nice smooth applicator. It feels very moisturizing on my skin or my lips. I'll show you how it looks. It's sheer. It feels really moisturizing. I really like it. That's the Aquaphor with the broad spectrum SPF 30. 
if you use Aquaphor all year round, you'll probably love this one too. Um, the only thing I want to mention is if you have a sensitivity to lanolin, which is an ingredient that Aquaphor uses, they use it in their regular Aquaphor too, then this product won't be for you. But don't worry, I have so many other products that I'll share with you today that I like. Next up is Sunbum SPF 30. And what's really unique about this sunscreen or sunscreen for your lips is that it's mineral based. So it doesn't have any chemical based um, ingredients in it. It contains zinc oxide, but it goes on clear, which I really like. It's also fragrance free and hypoallergenic. So if you're someone with fragrant uh, um, that gets irritated by fragrance or has sensitive skin, this is a great product for you. Also, it's really affordable. Sunbum is honestly killing it in the sunscreen game. I have been loving their products. So I'll show you how it goes on. It's really petite. It doesn't have a weird taste to it or a weird smell. I really like it. That's the Sunbum SPF 30 with zinc oxide in it. Next up is the Elta MD UV Lip Balm. And this has an SPF of 36 and it's UVA and UVB protection, which is really unique for a lip balm because most of the lip balms only protect you against the UVB rays, which are the ones that cause burns. But this one has this added bonus because it also protects you against aging. And yes, you can actually get wrinkles on your lips and no one wants wrinkles on their lips because obviously no one wants to look old. So protect yourself against aging and burns with the Elta MD UV Lip Balm. Also, what's really amazing about this one is it is water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So if you're gonna go swimming or get sweaty, playing pickleball, tennis, whatever you're doing outside, bike riding, golfing, this is a great option for you. Um, it does have transparent drink zinc oxide in it. It has actually zinc oxide of 7% in it, and it also has octanoxate 7.5%. So I'm going to show you how it goes on. It's very moisturizing like all of El Elta MD products. I think all of their products feel really nice on your skin, um, but I want to show you. The only thing about this one is I give it a shake, and it does have more of like a sunscreen look on your lips. Like, as you can see, it looks more white and, but with time it like does blend in and become more transparent. It still feels really nice, but if you don't like that sunscreen look, then you might not want to wear this. Um, and the only other thing is it does like have a little bit of a grainy texture to it, but it doesn't have fragrance and it. it doesn't taste weird. It feels really nice on the skin and my lips. So I feel moisturized and protected from the sun. This is a great option. Next up is the Super Goop Play. That is the SPF 30. Um, and what's unique about this one is it contains mint. Now, I tend to lean towards products that don't have fragrance in them. Because do you remember the days of, I used to wear these chapsticks that had like all these funky flavors when I was growing up. I remember I used to buy like a pack of them. They were like, came in 20 packs. They were like strawberry shortcake flavor and like banana split flavor, like all these crazy flavors that, that like I just honestly probably just wanted to eat more than put on my lips. But I was actually doing the opposite. Because they have fragrance in them, they actually contain more alcohol content, which obviously will dry your lips more. So I tend to try to pick products that have no fragrance in them because they're more sensitive for your skin. And this goes for all products, for shampoos, for body washes, especially like if for babies. That's why for babies, we always say try to use fragrant-free products because their skin is so sensitive. So this one is unique because it contains that mint flavor. But with that said, it is very mild. It doesn't taste weird. Um, and I actually wore this yesterday. I went on a bike ride and I was out for a while and I was really, really impressed with how long it stayed on my lips. It feels really moisturizing. By the way, I'm gonna show you how it goes. It's transparent. It doesn't burn my lips. It feels nice. It's moisturizing. But what I wanted to say was, Women and men both have to wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is not just for women. It's just not just for babies. It's for men too. It's for everyone. So everyone should be protecting themselves from the sun and that goes for their lips too. So my last pick for sunscreens for the lips is the Sun Balm with Tinted. So Tinted is unique because um, usually tinted products actually protect you against those blue lights. So like blue light, it's like from your computer screen, say. But the, only, the reason I saved this for last is because it has SPF 15. So it's not as protective against UVB rays like the SPF 30s. As I said, SPF 15 will only protect you 93% 
from the UVB rays, but you're still getting protection and definitely getting more protection than you would if you're not wearing anything. Um, what I like about this, and I picked the bonfire flavor. So I'm pale, I'm, you know, I'm pretty fair skin and I don't want to wear anything too bright. Um, but if I'm looking for a pop of color, so if I'm going to like a beach party or a pool party and I want to look like I'm like dressed up wearing a little makeup, then I try to wear the sun bun with the, um, for the color in it. And I'm going to show you how it goes on before I put it on. It's gluten-free, it's silicone-free, it's paraben-free, hypoallergenic, and oxybenzone-free. So it has great ingredients in it and good for sensitive skin. So as you can see, it comes in this like twisty thing. It's like a lip gloss or a lipstick. And it gives my, my um, lips like a nice color, a little pop. I actually think this was a great product if you're someone who's darker skinned because it will blend really well with your skin color and it will look really natural. For me, it gives me more of like a pop or a color, but for darker skinned individuals, this is a great option. So there you have it, my top five recommendations for lip balms with SPF. I shared the links below. I recommend you give them a try. Don't forget to protect your skin from head to toe. This includes wearing sunscreen on your face, your body, the back of your legs, the back of your arms, your back. Every part should be protected, not only your lips. Wear wide brim hats, sunglasses, UPF protection clothing, and have fun in the sun, but don't forget to also protect your skin. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and give it a like, and I'll see you in the next video.